Thanks for being with us tonight. I'm Brandon Taylor. And I'm Amber Noggle. A Republican bill that would modify Wisconsin's legislative maps now heads to the state Senate after the assembly passed it last night. Our political reporter, Daryl Fair, spoke to a Democratic representative who voted to pass the Republican authored bill. In a 64 to 32 vote, one Democrat, Representative Lakeisha Myers, voted to pass the bill. Representatives Sylvia Ortiz Velez and Marisabel Cabrera joining in once additional amendments were made. Myers called out fellow party members in her floor speech. She said regardless if the bill was done with ill intent, this is a time to take action. As an African American member of this body, we have a different set of rules to play by. So I don't just get to come here and represent my 57,000. I come here representing the 7% almost of black folks that live all across the state. Many Democrats in the legislature refused to support the bill and its amendments because of a provision that would allow the legislature to alter the maps once they had rejected maps drawn by the Legislative Reference Bureau for a second time. Senator Mark Spritzer has taken a similar view as Assembly Democrats, confirming he plans not to support the bill or propose additional changes. I don't think this is a serious proposal, so I'm not looking to try to amend it. I think right now we have a case before the Wisconsin Supreme Court challenging the existing gerrymander and looking to set a standard against partisan gerrymandering. I spoke with Representative Myers, who said it was a missed opportunity. It's an issue that supersedes party to a certain extent. This is about people and about making sure that they have adequate choice. Um, and adequate um, districts that are drawn so that we can conduct the business that we need to conduct. Myers requested both parties come together to develop a process that produces fairly drawn maps, calling this legislation a start to that. Republican Lauren Oldenburg, who co-authored the bill, said passing the bill was an opportunity to keep the responsibility of redistricting in the state legislature. The bill is expected to pass the Republican-controlled Senate before it reaches the desk of Democratic Governor Tony Evers, who will likely veto the bill, calling it bogus. A Senate hearing on the bill has not yet been scheduled. Reporting from the Capitol, Daryl Fair, 27 News.